all molten aluminum has an oxide layer. So if that layer gets folded in, it creates this oxide. And uh, uh, so, so that, that's what you're seeing here. And oxide itself is really not porosity, but it, it, it changes the solidification in that area so it doesn't completely fill out. And that's why you see, uh, you see the porosity kind of intertwined uh, amongst the oxides there. It's not typically a, a, a well-defined porosity as much as you see the stringers. If you look at the picture on the far right, uh, even even at a at a macro level, like if you're machining it, a lot of times you'll see a little bit of porosity that you've picked out as you machine it, but you'll see a tail or a stringer tending to come out from behind it. If you're pulling pouring in a sand casting and you're pouring too high, or you get or your gating's not correct and, and and you're filling too fast, you can get the oxide. So it can happen in anything, uh, but the faster that you fill, uh, the more prone you're going to be to having them. If you look at that middle slide. You can see an oxide trap uh, behind a filter. That oxide was actually generated in the in the furnace or the melting furnace. So it's just not a result of your gating. It can be entrained in your melt. So if you're using a lot of scrap, and, and particularly uh, if you're remelting gating, because gating will have oxides on it, uh, you know you, you you can introduce those oxides right into the melt, as Ernie says, and and they're going to stay in there unless you have some way to filter them out. Ernie, can you talk a little bit about uh, what this picture is showing here? Uh, this is just a, a magnesium oxide inclusion that, that formed at the uh, chill face. Probably more related to not uh, uh, when you're adding more mag to your melt of not uh, distributing <clears throat> that evenly. So you have an area that's uh, enriched uh, magnesium. If you're making an alloy addition, you have to make sure that you get it plunged and thoroughly distributed through the melt. So the oxygen not only attaches to the aluminum to, to form the aluminum oxides, which we saw on the previous slide, it, it will it will uh, combine with the magnesium to create create a magnesium oxide.